What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am sorry that I've been gone for so long. Uh, I kind of started to take a break and then just kind of got stuck in this rut of nothing was really going on and I wasn't getting any parts or anything. Uh, thankfully that is over now so we're going to kick it back off right. We are going to be installing the new JAS Performance uh, brackets and security hardware on the almost completely cleaned up hardtop. I spent a lot of time getting all this Plasti Dip off of it. There's still some spots like you can see here that I need to go back through and try to get off. But uh, a lot of it is super clean. Like this is actually smooth. I think I need to wet sand to get all this uh, you know, residue and contamination and whatnot off of it. Or uh, I actually might even try to clay bar it. But we'll have to do that before wrap. But I really want to get the interior in this back together. So all we got to do to finish that up is just install these brackets and reassemble the interior. But let's get inside the car and start installing these brackets. This is what the Jazz Performance Bracket looks like, fully installed. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not completely sold on these security bolts. Uh, the big ones seem fine, and the idea behind them is it would be more difficult for somebody to steal the hardtop, which I do like. But honestly, they seem like they start to strip really, really easy. Uh, so just for quick reference, this is one of the small ones. That's what it looks like. Now that's what that one looks like. Uh, unless maybe I misunderstood something and they're supposed to do that. Which I doubt, because then you wouldn't be able to take the hard top off ever, and that would be weird. Um, I think they do have a more expensive set, which maybe it's worth going with, because I think for two of these, it was like 30 bucks. Uh, which, I mean, it's pretty expensive just for hardware, but I would have expected it to be decent. Uh, I mainly only had the stripping issue with that. I think the... The problem is if you get off center and you pull up, it starts to strip really easy. I don't think it strips easily in general because they would tighten down fine. But I got that side installed. So I'm gonna reassemble the seat belt tower, uh, put the carpet back, and uh, I didn't replace any of the fuel covers or anything under there, but I won't be driving the car a lot or anything. And uh, I can do those with the hardtop still in and the carpet and everything uh, is not hard to take out. Um, so 
yeah, I'm going to go put this back together and get started on the other side, and then I'll come back when I go to do the uh, two front ones. All right, so I was going to reassemble the passenger side, and that's when I realized the uh, side panels don't fit with the hardtop bracket. Um, this is on me. I didn't research it. Uh, I thought they'd fit in. I hadn't seen the panels in a while, so I didn't think anything of it. But you do need to actually cut a section out of this plastic trim panel. So that when the hardtop bracket is sitting in there, sorry, trying to do everything one handed. This is what it'll end up looking like. And uh, you can't put this panel back if this is in there so what i'm going to do is uh these brackets should be pretty much mirrored uh, so what i'm going to do is just flip it hold it like this which should be how this side is currently sitting yep so those line up perfectly i had to cut my light off to plug my dremel in but uh basically this is how the bracket is currently sitting in the car. So I'm going to uh, put this in there, get a center location of this lower part right here, somewhere right here, mark it along there, and then mark that along here, and then use this to trim an outline, and then I will trim this and put it back and start the driver's side. So I just got done installing the driver's side bracket, uh, cut the panel and everything with the Dremel, and also installed the two front ones. So, I mean, the hard top looks the same as it has before when I got it, pretty much. It's really humid in here, sorry. Uh, but I got a lot more of that plastic dip cleaned off, like I was telling you guys. Around the back's really good. I gotta clean this glass up some more. The, uh, the outside of it's super clean, but I gotta clean the inside. Um, I'm really excited though, because having the interior back together, it's been a while. Also, don't worry about this. I'm gonna end up buying all new seals and get some uh, uh, seal adhesive, which is, it's just like a tacky silicone. Keep that uh, held up. And uh, when I was over here, I was trying, you can see how the seal is kind of supposed to run like right along the bottom of this. And I was trying to reach under here and pull it out and uh, it actually just snapped off. That's how brittle it is. So that's when I decided I definitely just need new, all new seals. Um, but if we take a look in here, this is what the new brackets look like. They're really nice. Um, unfortunately there is one hole right right there and then one spot on the driver's side that I do need to retap somehow or another the previous owner or one of the previous owners uh, I believe stripped or cross-threaded or something those uh, threaded inserts in those two bolt holes so my hardware would not go into it so that's unfortunate, but uh, that did end up taking a while because it's been a really long time since I took the interior apart. So the passenger side took a little while to figure out how to get back together. Um, it's crazy how small the Miata is. Like it makes my garage look ginormous because of how much space is around it. When there's really not that much space around it, this car is just really tiny. But. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like. I, I hope you're still excited about the Miata content. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more on the way than just this. Uh, hopefully this week, I'm going to do like a huge bulk order of a bunch of little things I need that are just gonna completely, uh, you know, get the car up to the maintenance point it needs. And then I can actually start doing like genuine mods to it. But, 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them down below. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. And then just real quick, because I'm done. Uh, I did order all new hardware for inside of here, but it is special order and will take like two weeks to get delivered. So I'll just put that in off camera and also do tapping off camera.